This video contains spoilers for everything within the Danganronpa universe except for V3. If you haven't played V3, then you're safe, but be aware that everything else is fair game. Enjoy the video. The detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. It's kind of old fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational, but it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Hello and welcome to Danganronpa 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the Danganronpa world. And today, we are going to be examining the initially mysterious ultimate detective, Kyoko Kirigiri. Kyoko Kirigiri is an incredibly calm, collected, and highly analytical individual who became part of the 70th class of Hope Speak Academy, and thus a participant of the Killing School Life Killing Game. In regards to her talent as the ultimate detective, this is due to Kyoko coming from a long line of famous detectives, although it should be noted that her father, Jin Kirigiri, had no interest in pursuing this profession and was thus expelled from the family. Kyoko went on to be trained in the ways of the detective by her grandfather, Fuhito Kirigiri, who was so strict that he did not even allow Kyoko to see her dying mother. And furthermore, Fuhito even manipulated Kyoko into hating her own father. However, as a result, Kyoko was raised into a phenomenal detective, so much so that at the age of 13, she solved the serious astronomical observatory murder case with the help of 16-year-old Yui Samidare. However, it wasn't all success for Kyoko in the early days, as her inexperience did at one stage cause both of her hands to be burnt and permanently scarred, a trait that she goes to great lengths to hide by wearing gloves at all times, and information that Kyoko will only volunteer to people who she possesses great trust in. Regardless, Kyoko's abilities were recognized by the talent scouts of Hope's Peak Academy, who admitted her into the 78th class. And rather notably, it should be said that her father, Jin Kirigiri, was the headmaster of this institution. During her time at the academy, she and her father appear to have developed some sort of working relationship, as Kyoko conducted many investigations for him, including an attempt to look into Izuku Kamakura and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, which was the very first killing game crafted by Junko Inoshima. And speaking of, when Junko did eventually implement the tragedy that sent a wave of despair throughout the world, Kyoko and the rest of the 70th class would be sealed within Hope's Peak Academy by Jin for their own safety. However, Junko had infiltrated the class, erased their memories, and forced them to participate in a more complex killing game. Now, rather interestingly, unlike other students, Kyoko did not even recall what her ultimate talent was, and for much of this event, she was presented as quite an enigma. Despite this lack of knowledge, Kyoko's skills as a detective were not dulled in the slightest, and she proved absolutely essential in the ensuing investigations, as well as subsequent class trials that would see the deaths of all but six of the students of the 70th class. However, during this time, Kyoko Kyoko was one of the more distant students, preferring to keep to herself and being very selective in regards to her interactions. The one notable relationship she did form was with the eventual ultimate hope Makoto Naegi, as Kyoko greatly admired his relentless optimism and it is strongly hinted that the two developed an attraction towards each other. In fact, this bond became so strong that when Makoto allowed himself to undergo a failed execution in the fifth trial, Kyoko went on to risk her life to save him, as well as show him her scarred hands as a sign of trust that the two had developed. Of course, by this time, Kyoko had also finally remembered that her talent was the ultimate detective, and she and the remaining surviving students joined forces and went on to defeat Junko Enoshima, thus ending the killing game and allowing them to escape into the outside world. Shortly afterwards, Kyoko joined the Future Foundation and was eventually made head of its 14th division, with her duties being to protect the victims of Junko's wave of despair, as well as spread hope throughout the world in the form of Future Foundation activities. But as part of this, Kyoko was also complicit with the efforts of her classmate Makoto to rehabilitate the remnants of despair via placing them into the Neo World program. However, after this program was infected by a virus carrying an AI Junko Inoshima, Kyoko along with Makoto and Byakuya made their way into the program to assist the remnants of despair in defeating the virus. Although this action would result in Makoto being put on trial for treason for the act of harboring the remnants of despair and culminating in Kyoko, Makoto and a slew of other key Future Foundation members being roped into a final killing game. During this particular killing game, individual restrictions were placed on the participants, with Kyoko's forbidden action being particularly cruel, which was passing the fourth time limit with Makoto still being alive. And so, as it appeared, Kyoko went on to sacrifice herself in favor of having Makoto live on, telling him not to give up on hope, no matter what happens, and that she would always be there for him. And while Kyoko did appear to die following the passing of the fourth time limit, this was all more or less according to plan, as just prior, Kyoko had ingested QoW, a drug made by one of the other participants of the game, which countered the lethal effect of the poison injected into her. Kyoko would then be revived by Mikan Sumiki, one of the remnants of despair that Kyoko had had a hand in saving, and thus survived the final killing game. Following this, the Future Foundation decided to rebuild Hope Speak Academy with Makoto as its new headmaster, and it is heavily implied that Kyoko serves directly alongside him as vice principal. Some more fun facts about Kyoko Kirigiri. 
Kyoko's family name, Kirigiri, is formed by kanji that can be read as fog cutter, thus directly referencing her detective lineage and just being a pretty damn cool name in general. Kyoko is one of the four characters in the series to have survived two killing games, with the others being her longtime love interest, Makoto, as well as Aoi Asahina and Hajime Hinata. Kyoko is also one of the very rare characters within the Danganronpa universe whose talent is not unique to her alone, as she shares the title of Ultimate Detective with Shuichi Saihara from Danganronpa V3. And finally, a truly useless fact about underwear. During her school days, Kyoko wore black briefs with a ribbon decoration on the side, which are described as being able to quote, obscure her form, which is almost certainly some form of joke about being able to see shadows under her skirt at various points in the game. But that pretty much does it for Kyoko Kirigiri. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the new World Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if Patreon isn't quite your style, then please do leave this video a like, share, or subscribe because it also helps support this channel an incredible amount. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next Danganronpa 